Today I'm going to be showing you the best audio settings for OBS Studio for your recording and streaming to take your audio quality from sounding like this, which is still pretty decent, to sounding like this, with a nice full podcasty quality that we're all after. These settings will work for male and female voices, and I'll show you how to tweak them accordingly, so without further ado, let's get started. So to get started here, we're going to go and add a microphone and you'll want to go in the Sources tab um, under whatever scene you're doing. So right now I've got my Game Capture and then my Screen Capture just so you can see OBS, but the Game Capture is the same. We're going to go ahead and add this mic right here. So to add a mic, you'll go to the little plus button and then Add Audio Input Capture. You'll be prompted with a screen to name it, whatever you want to name it. And then it should show you a screen like this where you can go ahead and select your device. So it should probably be on default, but then I'm just going to select my Focusrite Solo audio interface, which is powering my Rode NT1 condenser microphone for uh, this video. And that's the microphone I like to use. And then you can just hit OK. And that should add your microphone source. And that should also show a source right here that's labeled the same name that you named this. And you should see yourself talking. You should see these bars bouncing around. If you don't, there's some other things you can try of just making sure it's working and your mic is on or it has phantom power or anything like that. Another thing you might notice is that it is mono, only coming out of one ear on your headphones instead of two ears or only coming out of one speaker. You can fix that by going into the settings, making sure it's active obviously, but then checking or unchecking this mono option. You can see that right now if I uncheck it, you'll probably only be hearing me in one ear. But then if I check it, it goes back to stereo because I'm doing two channels at mono, panned left and right in my case. So you can just check or uncheck that depending on if your source is mono or stereo. That's a quick little fix for some mics that will default to mono and you'll be wondering why is it only coming out of one ear. So now that we have our microphone set up here, we can go into our settings and this is where we'll set some of the parameters here. First go to audio and go to the sample rate. This is really crucial to make sure that this number matches the sample rate of your audio interface or your microphone. In my case, it's 48 kilohertz, but the default is usually 44.1 kilohertz for lower quality mics or just your desktop mic or phone mic or whatever. The 48 kilohertz is what my mic is at, but if you have this number set wrong, and you'll know it's set wrong because you'll start hearing a little bit of a delay or a difference in pitch in your vocals uh, from what you actually sound like. So if it's sounding a little weird, you can go ahead and mess around with this number, but we have to make sure that that's lined up with the number that our microphone supports. After that, we can go to the output tab and then go over to audio, and then we can select our audio bitrate on track one by default, unless you set it to be any of these other tracks for your microphone. But I usually like it around 128. It just works well for YouTube. It requires low bandwidth for streaming and everything. But 160 also works really well. 160 and 128 are both supported by many, many streaming platforms. I used to have it on 160, but I'm finding 128 just works pretty much as well. So that's kind of up to you there. Obviously, you'll make sure you're in the advanced output mode in order to see those features. And once you have everything set there, you can just hit apply and then OK. And now we can get our microphone sounding really nice and full. Obviously mine does right now, but I'll show you how I did it. Head over to your microphone that you added, right click, and by the way, you can always go to properties if you want to change your microphone at any given point. Um, but we're going to right click and go to filters. This is where we add the magic. <laughs> so we're going to start with adding a gain filter. And to add filters, you'll just go down here to the plus, and then you'll see gain right here, or you'll see all the other filters that I use here. I kept the names default just so that you can uh, follow along with this. You don't need to install any additional plugins or anything for this. These are all just default installed when you install OBS Studio. So the gain here is to set our proper volume. Uh, you'll notice that mine is plus 12 decibels. My mic is a little bit quiet, so I need to raise the volume initially. And to set the gain, you'll want to just be talking and then start raising this or lowering it until your audio spikes are probably in this minus 15 area in the yellow here. You can see mine are just touching the red, but we'll set that later. So when you set the gain initially, make sure it's right in the yellow, you know, just in a nice little spot, but not clipping too much. 
Then we're going to add a noise suppression filter. And what this will do is just remove any background hiss or hum or fan noise or anything that's happening there. Um, I have mine on good quality with more CPU usage because I have a higher end machine, but you can uh, try either of those and see what works best for you. It just gives you a higher quality audio track. And now we're going to add a uh, three band equalizer our three band EQ. What this will do is just kind of emphasize or de-emphasize, subtract the tones in your voice that you like or don't like. So because I'm a male with a slightly deeper voice, I like to boost my low end just a little bit, plus two decibels. I like to remove a little bit of the mid tones just because they sound a little bit boxy or a little bit nasally, and so I don't like them as much for my voice. And then I like to give a little bit of a boost to the highs, plus three decibels, just so that you can hear my S's and T's and higher sounds more clearly. So my pronunciation still sounds really good and it doesn't sound too washed out. And then if you're a female or with a higher voice, you may not want to do this low end boost. You might just keep that at zero, probably just keep your midtones at zero and then just do a subtle high end boost. And that'll sound pretty good for the higher voices. But if you do have like higher quality headphones or speakers that have a bass or subwoofer, um, and you do have a deeper voice, it's sometimes nice to add a little warmth into the voice by increasing the lower end. After that, you'll set a expander, and what this does is basically limit the frequencies that can uh, pass through. So it will take out the unwanted frequencies, and our goal here is to set it to be just the frequency of your voice. So make sure it's set to expander instead of gate up here. Make sure the ratio is three to one. That's a nice ratio just to roll it off nicely. I'm not gonna go over the big nitty gritty tech specs of that. I produce music and everything. So some of these numbers, you know, if, you, if you're interested, you can uh, go and look out more tutorials of why ratios matter or what it does. Um, and then we'll deal with threshold in a moment here. We're gonna set a really fast attack of one milliseconds um, and then a release of 100 milliseconds. And an output gain, this is again where you can just mess with this slider a little bit. I usually have it at least what my gain is, so you know, around 12 there. So I'd set it to be around 12, but I boosted it just a little because I liked the sound that I got out of the expander. Then this threshold is the main thing that we're going to mess with once you've set all the rest of these. The threshold is where it will limit the frequencies to only let your voice pass through. So in my streams, for example, I have a dog and she loves to bark really loudly every time someone will open the door or even when someone opens the door, it makes a nice little squeaky sound and the latch closes, whatever. And you guys probably can't hear that. <laughs> you know, there's been a couple cases where you can before I dialed in these settings, but it will limit out the unwanted frequencies and make a nice quiet background and just let your voice come through, which makes a really clean voice. So the threshold, you'll notice if you set it all the way up, you won't be able to hear yourself at all. It's eliminating every single frequency. <laughs> so you'll put it all the way up and then start slowly dialing it back down until you can hear yourself clearly um, or you can see these audio spikes kind of in the, in the 15 again or whatever. Uh, you'll start slowly dialing it back down. And then in my case, I like it to be pretty low because I don't want to eliminate too much of my pronunciation or too many frequencies. You can see if I start raising it up, it'll start just sounding a little bit, you know, the beginning of my sentences might be cutting off a little bit. My P's or something might not be sounding quite as good. So I like to just bring it down to around minus 56. That's good for me. Um, For my mom as well, I helped her set up her podcasting setup and... In her case, she could get away with the slider being slightly higher um, because she had a, just a higher female voice, not as many frequencies, and so this, this slider location will be dependent on your voice. Uh, if you want a little bit of help with that as well, let me close out of this. You can click the settings here, and then you can see on your mic you have this option called uh, audio monitoring. You can select this, and then you can, um, you can monitor and output. Um, so then if you select that, you'll be able to hear yourself talking through your headphones. And that's how you'll know kind of where to set that slider, which can be helpful sometimes. I usually just look at it or do a couple test recordings and see how it sounds. But you can set that direct monitoring to be on. So back in the filters here, once you've set the settings for your expander, 
we will add a compressor and this does exactly what it says it will compress your audio to basically lower down the volume of when you shout or do a sudden plosive or things like that so that it doesn't sound all distorted and clipped and it will just slightly raise the volume of the quieter tones uh, just to even out your voice and get a really really nice sound so again we'll set a three to one ratio which is just a good general ratio works for everyone and then we'll set the threshold this is this is what is again really important on the compressor uh, so we'll get to that in a minute but set the attack of one milliseconds again nice and fast you don't have to have it quite that fast but i like it fast uh, just gives a nice punchy sound to my vocals which i like for uh, voiceovers and things um, and then the release is 60 milliseconds and then output gain I did not mess with that but if you do want more gain you could you know you could mess with that slider I think my voice is plenty loud enough so I'm not going to add more gain uh, I just set that in the gain tab so then the threshold is where you're going to notice the big difference you can see if I start lowering it uh, my vocals will get much quieter they're very very compressed it's not just taking the loud stuff off it's just keeping my volume super boring and it's not quite a good sound you can see if i have it all the way up it's not compressing at all my vocals sound all distorted and way overblown and way too loud so we're going to start dialing it back i like mine at around minus 14 decibels or whatever to where it's just going to start hitting that top end and this is where we make that transition from uh, yellow to red it's okay to see it going in the red a little as long as your compressor is doing its work that'll give you a nice loud volume but still a very clean sound without being too distorted. That's the purpose of the compressor here. And then once you're done with that, you can add a limiter. You don't have to add a limiter, but it just adds that little bit of touch at the end just to boost the overall volume. And again, limit the very, very peak of your uh, of the really high waves in your audio file. Um, so the threshold, I just like to barely, barely limit that peak off the top so the super super loud parts of my audio assuming that I screamed in my streams or things which I don't really but uh, you can just kind of set a really high threshold just to clean it up a little more and then the release of 60 milliseconds so with that said I hope you've learned something from this tutorial on how to set some nice audio settings to get a really clean sound for your streaming or recording in OBS studio if you have any additional questions, be sure to comment them down below. Also join my Discord server through the link in the description, and I will answer all of your questions in there. But I hope you learned something from this. Be sure to subscribe and like the video if you did, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.